right, guys, Sean right here from MuscularDevelopment.com. We're talking about the 28th anniversary of the Arnold Sports Festival weekend coming up. The first weekend in March, Muscular Development will be in the house and on the scene. And as you know, back in 1989, when the very first Arnold Classic champion, the Dragon Slayer, Rich Gaspari, edged out the Black Prince, Robbie Robinson, there was only women's bodybuilding to accompany the men. Approximately 2,000, maybe 3,000 fans in attendance. And that swelled as we approach the 28th edition of the Arnold Sports Festival, which now is upwards of 175,000 fans, 18,000 athletes, and numerous events. But still, at the end of the day, it all comes back to the men's bodybuilding as the main anchor. And this year's lineup should be interesting, to say the least, because it's going to be wide open. This year, 2017, it'll be the first time that a new guy uh, actually takes reins of the throne. Uh, going over the history back in the day, we've had four-time champion Flex Wheeler, five-time all-time champion Dexter Jackson, uh, two-time champion Branch Warren, three-time champion Kai Green. The list is long about uh, regarding the multiple champions. Of course, the Maryland Muscle Machine won it twice, Nasser El Sambadi, Vince Taylor, myself. Um, but uh, most recently, Kai Green edged out Cedric McMillan a year ago. Well, Kai Green's not in this year's competition. However, last year's Contest winner over in Poland, Cedric McMillan, he won the first show of 2016, is in this competition, so he's got to be the odds-on favorite going into this show. And the guy that won this year's last competition of the year over in San Remo, the Frenchman Lionel Bayecki, has thrown his hat into the arena. So it should be an interesting matchup with those guys. But not to be outdone, the Canadian Fouad Aviad is coming back from Canada. I remember when I was there one year, and Fouad was actually among the top finalists. And he thought he wasn't, and he didn't come back for the final pose down, and he missed out on a nice $10,000 payday because it wasn't over until it's over. Well, this year, I bet he's going to be paying attention uh, when those finals are called. But a, a relatively fresh face on the Arnold Classic scene, big Dallas McCarver, is definitely in this competition. You'll note that Dallas McCarver, I believe, was 10th place uh, or 8th place at the Mr. Olympia this year, the youngest guy at that at that. Uh, Position. However, this could be a contest where he can overthrow the apple card. Cedric McMillan and, and um, uh, Dallas McCarver, they almost look eye to eye. Dallas McCarver has uh, filled out immensely. Cedric is one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's favorite throwback looking physiques. So the odds on favorite would be Cedric. But these guys could have flip flopped at this year's Mr. Olympia Championships. And Dallas McCarver is nipping at Cedric McMillan's hill. So that could be a contest of very close proportions. Juan Diesel Morrell. He's coming back into the arena. He took a nice little long break. I know he had a kid and all that jazz, but he should be a fresh-faced competitor looking uh, to challenge in the veteran Max Charles. He's not a veteran on the pro scene, but he's been a veteran. He's been around the sport for a very long time, and Max Charles has been one of those guys who've been waiting to really break out. Wide across the shoulders, big across the arms and the pecs, a little bit slight in the hamstrings and calves, but he's got a very pleasing physique, and Max Charles could break out here and get some uh, attention. Vitaly... Falaviv, I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure. He's going to be in there to throw in that international mix. So it's really more about who's in this contest and not who's out of the contest because with all these guys sitting it out after this year's IFV Pro Tour, it leaves the door wide open to revitalize the sport with maybe some fresh faces and give these guys an opportunity to qualify early for this year's uh, 2017 upcoming Mr. Olympia. But this is not going to be a walk in the park with Cedric. It's going to be a dogfight to the finish. And in our 212 competition, uh, that's a very interesting lineup as well. Some veteran names. We've got Guy Cisternino coming back. Of course, Charles Dixon wound up winning out there at the Europa competition. David Henry, another guy whose legs are on the decline as he gets a little bit older. But arguably, he's got one of the best backs and midsection in the business along with those traps and arms. The veteran Jose Raymond, once again, a study of consistency. Last year at the show, remember Hidetati Yamagishi took him out, um, was a little bit... Thick in the midsection, was coming off of a knee injury. He did correct me on that. This year, he should be uh, fresh and ready to go. Quincy Winkler, Roly Winkler's younger brother, he uh, will be in this competition as well. Hidetaro Yamagishi coming back to uh, defend his title. Getting a little bit older. Is he getting better? We're going to find out. We know he's one of the best posers in that division. Um, as well, we've got Kyung Wong Kang, who actually won that competition on the amateur side. He will be there uh, along with a couple others. So this is going to be a very full lineup in terms of even playing field. Everybody's going to talk about who's not in it. Dexter, Sean Roden, uh, Kai Green. Uh, we're missing Dennis Wolf. 
That's okay. That happens. I remember when the NBA transitioned from Magic Johnson and Larry Bird and Isaiah Thomas, and here came Kobe Bryant and Allen Iverson and, and company. This is an awesome opportunity right now for someone to kick the year off right and break out of the pack and set the tone for 2017. I'm excited. Of course, Arnold's got a full lineup. He's got the fitness ladies. He's got the bikini girls, the big expo, and the kids' fair that's taking off. I'll be there at the microphone for the amateur competition, which is over three days, very international, almost six, 700 people competing in that division as well. And Team Muscular Development will be on the ground to bring you the play-by-play, -play, paparazzi interviews, and all the weekend's events at the 28th anniversary of the Arnold Sports Festival. For MuscularDevelopment.com, I'm Sean Ray.